Hi guys, welcome back to Graham DVM. Today we're going to give the cats a little bit of attention and talk about upper respiratory disease. Very common, most of us in clinical practice will see a case every day or every couple of days. These are the cats who probably just finished spending some time in either a kennel setting or they've been newly adopted from a shelter. However, sometimes these cats have just been at home. But maybe we can come up with something that's been stressful that may have suppressed their immune system and allowed the manifestation of these signs. What exactly are you seeing with these guys? Well, typically they're going to have some form of sneezing. That's pretty classic. They also have the conjunctivitis, so the redness of the eyes. Um, or nasal discharge is also very, very common with these cats. They may or may not be febrile, and whether or not they're eating can vary depending on the severity of their condition. But truthfully, these cats can have a myriad of signs all centered around that upper airway region. So how do we treat them? It really depends on what a full clinical assessment is. But ultimately, some form of antibiotic can be hugely beneficial to control the bacterial component of the disease. We may also use antivirals, and each veterinarian has their own preference with treating with antivirals. Some veterinarians also like antivirals as they can be helpful to decrease virus replication and encourage cats to make a quicker clinical recovery. So you're wondering, how can my cat have an upper respiratory infection if he's been vaccinated? Well, the problem is vaccines tend to only decrease the severity and the duration of a cat's infection with upper respiratory. In some cases, it could fight off an infection they would have otherwise acquired. But when they're in an immunosuppressed state and being inundated with these infectious agents, it's not uncommon for cats that have been fully vaccinated to acquire these infections as well. So get your kitty into your vet have a full exam performed, make sure that all the elements of the disease are well documented so that appropriate treatment can be performed. What do you think, Pickle? Until next time, thanks again for watching. The comment section is open below. We'll see you next time on Graham DVM.